Hi Year 2, welcome to your writing lesson. So for today's lesson you will need your work pack with today's date on it which is Wednesday the 20th of January and you will need a pencil. Press pause now and make sure you have those things. Let's get started. So for the do now I want you to think about what are conjunctions, why do we use them, so what are conjunctions and which ones have we learnt about, which ones have we used in our writing. Think about the poetry unit and the Polar Express unit. Press pause now and have a think about those questions. Okay, let's hear some answers. So conjunctions are used in the way in the sentence, beginning, middle or end. They're used in the middle of the sentence, fantastic. So they make our sentences longer. So when we did our poem, I'll give you the sentence, I didn't, mm, I did. What conjunction did we use? Which conjunction did we use? Fantastic, we use the conjunction but. Now think back to the Polar Express unit, there was another one that we used to make our sentences longer or to give additional information. Fantastic, it was the conjunction and. So, so far we've learned the conjunction but and and. Today we will be learning a new conjunction. So today we are learning the conjunction because, my turn, because. Fantastic. This is one that you use whenever you are speaking, but today we're going to be looking at using it in our writing. So it's really important that we understand exactly how it's used and the reason we use it in a sentence so that when we come to doing our independent task, you know exactly where it goes. So because, just like all the other conjunctions we have used, goes into the middle of the sentence, where does it go? It goes into the middle of the sentence, well done. And it's used to give a reason. Why is it used? To give a reason. Well done. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at an example. So here's our sentence. He went to the shop because he needed milk. Now this sentence could be broken into two individual sentences. So it could be he went to the shop, he needed milk. But instead of having them as two ind independent sentences, we've put them together using the word because. So we put two complete ideas together. And the reason we've done that is because one of them explains the other. So he went to the shop is a complete idea. It tells us what he is doing. Now we have the word because it's our conjunction, it joins our sentences together. He went to the shop because he needed milk. This is the reason he went to the shop. So, he went to the shop is a complete idea. Because is the conjunction that links the two ideas together to give a reason. He went to the shop because he needed milk. Why did he go to the shop? So let's have a look at this one. I wore my coat because it was cold. What's our first complete idea? Think, what's our first complete idea? What is it? If you said, I wore my coat, that is correct. It's a complete idea. It's a full sentence. It would make sense by itself. We've used the conjunction. Which conjunction have we used? We have, fantastic. We've used the conjunction because. What is our second complete idea? Fantastic. It was cold is our second complete idea. It was cold is the reason he wore the coat. So what did he do? He wore his, why did he do it? Fantastic, because it was cold. So because helps us to give a reason. Okay, this time we have our sentence, I was scared. Now I could say to you, why were you scared? And you could give me another sentence, but instead I want you to explain it. Have a think, which conjunction are you going to use? You're going to use the conjunction. Okay, press pause now and think about how you can complete this sentence. Okay, let's hear some ideas. I was scared, which conjunction did everyone use? Fantastic, you use the conjunction because I was scared because. Now tell me some ideas about why you were scared. A bit louder. Okay, let's stop there. So you could have said you were scared because you saw a spider. You were scared because it was very loud. 
All of these are giving reasons. So if you're into talking, you know that Miss Charlie is very, very scared of heights. So I'm going to say I was scared because I was at the top of a mountain. We're still writing sentences, so it needs to end with a full stop. So let's have a look. What is our first complete idea? If you said I was scared, that is correct. Which conjunction do we use? Why do we use the conjunction? Because to give a reason. Why did we use it? To give a reason. Why was I scared? Why was I scared? If you said because I was at the top of a mountain, you are absolutely correct. That's the reason I that's been given in this sentence. Okay, so you have a talk task. For your talk task, you have to match the statement, so the complete idea, to a reason. I'm going to do the first one for you. I want you to have a listen to how I go through my answer. I got my umbrella. This is the one I'm looking at because I got my umbrella because it was raining. Could be. I got my umbrella because she had a question. No. I got my umbrella because it was cold. Maybe. I got my umbrella because we wanted to play. He wouldn't really play with an umbrella. I got my umbrella because he was hungry. Now, some of these do not make sense. So you need to make sure that the answer, the reason you are giving, links to the complete idea. So it's either going to be, I got my umbrella because it was raining, or I got my umbrella because it was cold. Now, when it's cold, you don't always take out your umbrella. So you normally take your umbrella when it is raining. So I'm going to join up these two ideas. I got my umbrella because it was raining. You need to do exactly the same thing for the other ones. I've done the first one for you. You're going to do the others. So match the statement to the reason. Press pause now. Let's go through some answers. So we have already done. I got my umbrella because it was raining. I wore my coat. Why did you wear your coat? Because, because it was cold. Well done. He ate his food quickly. Why did he eat his food quickly? He ate his food quickly because he was hungry. We went to the park. Why did they go to the park? We went to the park because we wanted to play. She talked to her teacher. Why did she talk to her teacher? She talked to her teacher because she had a question. So those are the answers. Check that you have them. If you haven't, go back and have a look at where you might have gone wrong. So you all know that Julia Donaldson has seen our writing videos and I'm very, very excited because she sent us some lovely books and she's also looking forward to hearing from you all. So today we're going to practice writing reasons about why we like her book. I'm going to do this for Lost and Found and then you're going to have a turn for one of Julia Donaldson's books. So I have this book. I know that I need to start my sentence with. I like this book. So I know that I like this book. What conjunction am I going to use here? Have a think. I need to give a I need to give a reason, so I need to use a conjunction because. I like this book because, now I'm going to think, why do I like this book? So I've read this book and some of you may have as well. So I might pick out why I like this book. I might like this book because I like the story. I like the characters. I like how the penguin finds a friend. I like the illustrations. There's lots of reasons. I'm just going to pick one of them and then write that down. I like this book because I think illustrations those are the drawings the illustrations are extremely detailed so i like this book because i think the illustrations are extremely detailed my sentence starts with a capital letter it ends with a full stop it's a complete idea it has all the pieces it makes sense I've done this for Oliver Jeffers' book. 
Now you're going to do something very similar. So this is your turn. You have two different pages in your workbook. You only need to choose one of them and complete one. So this is number one and this is number two. So I'll go talk through number one first. For number one, you are explaining why you like these books. So The Gruffalo and Room on the Broom. This one has a sentence starter for you. So you don't need to worry about starting your sentence. Now, if you want something less structured and don't want to choose these books, then page, page two is the one that you want. So if you're doing this page on the right hand side, you need to choose one of Julia Donaldson's books, write the title over here, and then explain why it is your favourite. You need to use full sentences. Then you'll do the same thing again. So there's three books that you need to write about on either sheet. So if I was doing paper page two, I might choose the smartest giant in town. So we read that um, in 2014 and we said that it was our favourite because we liked George, we thought it was very funny. Those are some of the reasons that you could use if you like that book. Um, that's the task for today. Have fun and we can't wait to see your work on Seesaw. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.